this business is Morgan's Fresh Cut Trees, and we sell fresh cut Christmas trees. We sell wreaths and garland and uh, other things along those lines as well, just not, but the, uh, the main focus is Christmas trees. I have a eight-year-old daughter who had started doing farmer's markets uh, in Nashville, and we met a guy whose daughter lives in Nashville, who was from Michigan, that was looking for another outlet to sell Christmas trees. So the money that we uh, raise from doing the Christmas tree lot goes into our girls' college fund. The trees are grown in Hart, Michigan, which is in northern Michigan. Um, they are cut uh, the day that they're shipped to us, and uh, they go through the field and cut them. They're bale baled up in the, uh, with a twine that wraps them real tight, and then they're shipped to us. So we uh, unband them, okay, and we, we let the branches fall down. Uh, and then we put them on the rack and so that extra day helps the branches to completely come down for where it's been banded uh, after it's been cut and then that way the tree reaches its full fullness when somebody gets ready to, to purchase it. My typical day starts usually around 10 o'clock when we open the gates. Um, sometimes earlier than that if we have somebody that shows up earlier but we, we don't turn a customer away if they, they show up early or if they show up late. So and it just continues on. I water the trees, I put any new trees up, we price the trees that have gone up that haven't been priced yet, and um, just help the customers all day long. It really helps to make a lot of, a lot of people's holidays uh, easier. Uh, plus we have the same people that come back every year, so you get to have like a friendship and a bond with these people. And you know, with the other things like the wreaths and the garland, then we are like the one-stop shop for people where they don't have to go all over town uh, looking for what they want to do to decorate their home with. And Christmas is a fun time. I think, uh, for one thing, if, if you do get into the decorating you know, aspect of it, uh, homes are important around the holidays. Uh, having people into your home and, and enjoying the things that go along with that, you know, the food and the fun and the the, the fire in the fireplace and, and all those things that come with it. Um, and the tr Christmas tree is just kind of the center of all that, you know, with uh, the presents underneath. And everybody has the special ornaments, you know, that they have on their tree that they can, even some people have, still have some from childhood or one that grandma gave them, you know. And you can look at that ornament every year and it's like an old friend, you know, and uh, visiting for one more time, you know. And uh, I think that's the reason why the tree is so important to everybody. It's because it's kind of the center of the holiday. Once you get a live Christmas tree in the house, you'll never want to go to a fake, back to a fake one because it just the smell permeates the whole house and just makes it to where it uh, smells like Christmas to a lot of people. Most people that come into the lot, the first thing they say is, I love the smell. You know, and, and, and uh, I even had a lady that tonight that said, uh, I have a friend that, that puts up a fake tree, but she even goes and sprays it with a pine smell, trying to make it, you know, as real as possible. So, uh, you know, that, that's really important to people. Um, there's just something about a natural grown tree that you can't get from an artificial tree, you know. And uh, those two things that seem to really be the thing that drive people uh, to buy real trees. They're, they're getting more into the season when they go out and shop for it because it makes them get into the swing of things, I guess. Makes it to where they are in the mood for Christmas. Some of the big commercial places that have trees will cut uh, starting in August and then they'll put them in coolers. Whereas ours are cut within uh, three or four days before we open on Black Friday and our trucks. So that's one advantage to going with a smaller uh, tree outlet for a fresh cut tree than a, a big box store. A lot of people are going green now and uh, if they use a fresh cut tree then when they're done with it for the season uh, our local fish and wildlife department they can donate that tree to them and they use that tree in the lakes and streams uh, for the fish population. The whole experience of going and, and picking out a tree and just to make to the experience of with the kids and uh, a live tree is a very well deserved and well liked tradition in most families. We always have a lot of people over that are not family um, that need and that don't have anybody, and uh, it makes it special because a lot of times that's somebody that's not going to receive any gift 
uh, for the holiday or are not going to have any family to spend it with. So every Christmas Eve we usually have uh, at least 15 people that uh, aren't uh, family that don't really have any place to go and so they come to our house and we think it's a great thing to, to show our kids that life's not all about you, you know, it's about other people and sharing what God's blessed you with. So uh, we really enjoy doing that. There's a lot of things about the holidays that are just special that you don't enjoy any other time of year. It's a time that forces people to slow down, uh, spend time together, get away from their electronics, uh, en enjoy the, the traditions that they have. You know, every family's got their, their own little tradition and that makes that family unique and special and makes the holiday unique and special to them. So the, that forces us to, to take some time off, enjoy one another, and uh, realize that this only comes once a year so we can take advantage of it.